Hey, what's up guys? Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. All right, hope you guys are having a great start to your day or morning and whenever you guys are watching this vlog. So here's where we're at today. We are building the sidewalls on the truck today. So the idea is to stack them too high. Okay, so I did some measurements I was sharing on Instagram. So if you guys aren't following along on Instagram, uh, check us out there. That's our stories real time. If we do two walls high and then we cube it out, right? It was uh, like 66 versus 57 versus 40, something like that, whatever. Divided by 27, it came up with 4.3 uh, cubic feet. So, uh, Rob, how you doing this morning, bud? Doing pretty good. Good morning. Uh, Rob's pulling out the mower because we're going to be putting, uh, I don't know, 50 50 chance. Okay, well, 33% chance. Yeah. Um, Rob's going to be pulling out the mowers here. So, today, Gonna be putting on the uh, the walls for the box, putting on the bagger for the mower, and then before you know it, uh, tomorrow we're gonna be out there starting to do our leaf cleanups. How cool is that? All right, well, if you guys are new here, you don't have to subscribe just yet, but if you guys have seen one or two of our videos, that might be YouTube telling you guys that you might want to uh, check out the rest of our content. For you guys uh, that are part of the regular crew, thank you so much for subscribing. So uh, here we go, let me see. We got all of our tools that we're gonna be using today. So. We've got a 12 inch by 57 inch uh, uh, pine. This is treated pine. Two by fours for the outside. We might have to saw the two by fours, right? We got our paint. I uh, got some black, kind of matte paint. Let's see how that goes. I don't know. I don't know where my paint yeah, was. I was gonna say you lost your one paint. I, I have no idea where. No idea where my paint went. Rollers, drills, the whole deal, bits, and then uh, good old Rob coming in clutch with Mickey D's, <laughs> so. Oh hey, and by the way, uh, on the shirt video that I was telling you guys, we got new shirts. Uh, if we want to wear these hats or vests, like it's, uh, I was showing on Instagram, we have uh, a bunch of safety vests. So you were saying these might be cool to sport. Yeah, I, I was liking the hat one. The high-vis right safety, high-vis safety, bud. All right, so let's uh, get into it, and uh, what do you wanna do first? Let's do the bagger. Bagger? Yeah, we'll throw the bagger on there really quick. So this right here, uh, and Rob just helped me out for just a quick hour or two this morning because it's hard to get this on by yourself. So let's do this really quick. Why don't you pull this out? Yeah, if you don't mind, that'd be cool. It started right up the other day. Did it really? Yeah, when I was moving the four-wheeler. Oh, uh, I was kind of surprised. That's good. We got two. Somebody was saying nice Christmas lights. I said, hey, <laughs> or Christmas bulbs. <laughs> I'm like, always have my Christmas bulbs, you know? Hey, leave my bulbs alone. Leave my bulbs alone. Don't Because uh, a lot of you guys always ask me if you can put this on by yourself. The answer is yes. It's just really tough though because you see these little clamps, these little hooks. Like, I don't know if it's showing on the sunlight very well. So these little hooks, see how they like kind of swoop even lower? So they gotta go like this, then you ratchet it up, right? So this is kind of a two person job. You can kind of like janky it on one and then clamp on the other side, but we both tried to do that on our own. It's, yeah, it's not fun. So I was like, Rob, can I just borrow you for like a quick hour on uh, Monday morning before we do our cleanups tomorrow? Yeah. All right. Yeah. It's so much easier with two people. <laughs> That's so much easier. So. So you guys put on the XMark UltraVac. This comes up, goes on top of the bagger, and then right here, you guys can see that it clips behind this uh, just bumper bar right here. So these little pins just come on out. But like I said, just two people. Oh yeah, so well, much. Too. I mean, so we were having a little bit of trouble there with just the two of us because we had to pull that one part off. Yeah, but one thing we got to figure out now too. Remember this from last fall? Is the uh, 
the screen. The screen again, these uh, rivets aren't doing so good. Zip ties? Possibly, we, maybe drill through. Okay. Yeah, get some washers. I think we might zip tie them on or something. I might zip zip tie around it for now because uh, that's annoying. Do we have zip ties anywhere? Maybe in the bed of the truck. Uh, you can just lift it up. Uh, mm, I don't think we got any on my side. Those are bungees. This is all my. Uh, don't judge me. Zone of my truck. <laughs> what is yeah. that? Oh, those are those zip ties? None, none of the little ones? There should be a bucket. Not a bucket full of zip ties? So it looks like I gotta go back to Home Depot. <laughs> I uh, was saying on Instagram, every good uh, vlog or every good day seems to start at either Site One or Home Depot. There you go. One other question that I'm sure some of you guys are asking too is whether or not we're gonna put the uh, leaf box back up. Um, I'm not going to for spring. Now, I'm not opposed to it. We'll see what happens. Uh, in the fall, we know we collect a lot of leaves. That's, that's a no-brainer. In the spring, not so much. But, you know, if we have the double board side and even just a regular dump insert here, uh, we should be able to store two, three yards of leaves. And for us, that's plenty. We don't suck up a lot of leaves in the spring. What do you got? Oh, that's not Screw. Not came from anything. So it's a good sign with his little screw. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure what that is, but uh, it's going in the garbage. But um, so I don't think we're gonna have to use the debris loader or anything like that uh, in the spring. But if we need it, we can always throw the box on, take us you know half hour to put that back on and back together. But overall, I think we'll we'll be fine. The mowers will vacuum. Uh, once we have the multi-force, we'll have the vacuum, so we can always just dump in the bed, the bed insert. So I think we'll be fine there. Um, and it's just less cumbersome going down the road, uh, less. Stuff I gotta worry about and as you guys can imagine I can still go through drive throughs with the truck right <laughs> which is very important is this thing even on well, no. I was kidding <laughs> uh, so the boards right now are uh, and probably will forever be unless they grow I don't think they're growing anymore uh, they're 11 and a quarter no I'm sorry 11 and an eighth right so if we do 22 and a quarter on the two by fours that'll give us our walls for the outside and the question I always have is, do you guys put your extra wall mounts on the inside, you know, holding the board so it doesn't bow out, or do you put them on the outside so it clamps so it doesn't push out? You guys know what I'm saying, inside or outside? I think it makes sense to put them on the outside. Um, and plus, if it's on the inside, it's gonna get caught up with all the uh, mulch or rock or anything you guys got trying to dump out. So we put them on the inside. You're hiding it. I, was I, hiding the, I look around and I'm like, oh. Time the tape measure. Well, that's what we, we did the um, wall mounts on the inside of my leaf box, which is okay, uh, but we were just noticing once it dumps that sometimes that stuff is laying all over. So, oh, uh, you got a pen? I do not. I, think, I know you have one. Uh, dude, you found like 20 pens. Rob cleaned out the oh, truck. They were all in the middle I, I can't believe how many pens you found in that truck. There's literally 25 pens in my truck, and I think they're all uh, down in the bottom of the seat. That was pretty funny. Uh... Shoot, you got a By the way, uh, this is a DeWalt. Say 22 and a uh, This is the uh, miter saw that we're using here. I'm, I'm just kidding. I know it's not a miter saw. This is a band saw. And so I had a guy trolling me this morning on Instagram. He's like, "You're you're a dork, and you don't even know what you're talking about." I'm like, "So what?" Like, if, it, if I'm I learning. sound if I sound confident, you guys believe me. There you go. <laughs> he said, "If you sound confident, you're you." Anybody will believe you. No, I'm, I'm still learning too. I'm still learning too. But like, why, why like be so mean on the internet? You know, right. no, no being mean on the internet. Let's be nice to each other. All right, so 22. It's 22 and a quarter. All right, so what should I like get up here, step on this thing, and zip it off? Something. Okay. Uh, or we can go this way. Oh, good thing I brought batteries. Here. Uh, you want to have the honors? You can. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Oh. Good enough. All right. Doesn't have to look too beautiful. It's not like only leaves and grass are going to be touching it. <laughs> well, again, I don't I don't build houses for a living. So 
whatever. Oh, I can hear the comments already. <laughs> I know. Just, what? just <laughs> <laughs> listen, man. We're doing our best here, okay? Uh, here, you want to come over here this way? So, here's what I'm thinking, right? We get two, right? Two carriage bolts zip through, two boards high, and then another one right here. And then this keeps it from clamping, you know, pushing out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sounds good to me. A lot of head nodding going on. <laughs> ain't no rocket surgeon. Rocket as, like, as, li as you like to say. Rocket surgery over here. Yep. So um, good old rocket surgery. Yes, man. Hey, dude, we're just figuring it out, just like you guys, man. So I always appreciate people that make make, make videos like this that uh, I can like kind of glean a little insight from. What did we say? Twenty-two and a, a twenty-two half? and a quarter. Twenty-two and a quarter. Yep. I almost said twenty-one and a quarter. <laughs> What do we need? We need uh, four of these, basically, right? Uh, yes. There it is. You can't do a Brian's Law Maintenance vlog without the train. All right. Well, that one train, too, is the one that's always... Stuck on the track. Yep, yep. <laughs> you hear it? Yeah. Under the lights? Yep, yep. <laughs> Why does it not go all the way through? I don't know. Uh, pinching it? Yeah, probably. Alright. Good enough, right? Yeah. How about that? That's not too bad. That's a good cut right there. Making progress, you know? We'll figure this thing out. Ooh, that's not that. bad. That's, that's not, not bad. bad at all. Not bad, you know? That's a thumbs up right there, you know? Show your boy some love. All right, so if you want to come in here, Rob, you can probably see this. We've got our, I know it's really sunny, guys, so I apologize. I've got our uh, 3 8 three and a half inch carriage bolts. Uh, these are, what are they, zinc or whatever, to for outdoor. So they're outdoor. Uh, the light galvanized. blue. Galvanized. Galvanized? Yeah. There you go. So here we go. If we zip them through, it should be like so. This is the, uh, the theory, the thought process, right? So this. And then the pine piece, the, uh, the the wall. So let's do our uh, pilot holes and uh, see where we're at. Oh, we got a three eighth bit. Mm -hmm. Holla. Hey, you think look pretty good? Oh yeah, those, those go. look pretty good. Pretty good. All right. What do you think? Like, does it make any difference if we do one here and one here? Yeah. All right, we're learning together. If not, and whatever whatever works. If right? not, we can always edit it out of the vlog. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> if this doesn't work, they won't see it anyways. If they do, well, now they're just hearing us talk about how we think we're not gonna get it to work. I don't mess around. Going to the top, man. This is a moment of truth right here. Hey, hey. Popping out the other side. Yeah, here. go check that out. Yeah. There it is, right, right there. Right there. All right, that's actually. Oh, there's the train. He even gave us a little nod. Right. Good job, guys. Good job, guys. Good work. Um. So what do you think, like right here? Yeah, so yeah. two per board. Something like that. Is it like straight? It looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. What do you call this? 
The persuader? <laughs> the persuader. You did a good job. Persuaded. All right, guys, so <laughs> you gotta laugh or you'll cry. So. <laughs> Come on, dude. So that was the idea to take it all the way. And I measured it 57 inches. Oh, I measured something for 57 inches, and uh, there's the train, by the way. <laughs> Gosh darn it. So, Home Depot run. Uh, it's 76 and three quarters to this uh, metal lip. So, I, I don't, dude, I don't know what I measured or how I measured it, but this is real life. So, there goes 50 bucks in wood. And uh, we'll just save it, we'll just go in the storage locker. But anyway, gotta laugh. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so we are back and we got the right measurements for the wood things are looking a lot better this go around and rob's doing the paint so we just got some flat black some matte black paint um this only took another 20 minutes like as soon as yeah, we got back as long. yeah once we got back then we cranked this we're out. good to go basically uh now the only question is whether or not we need a board on the back side because the mulch might taper um so we'll see how that goes or we could always tarp it something like that but I think it's turning out pretty well. So this will give us uh, around four cubic yard capacity for mulch and that's all we really need. All of my mulch jobs, we can for the most part access curbside. And then we'll also hopefully have the, um, the mulch, uh, mulch mate cart mate. And then we'll also have the uh, mulch force from Toro, part of the uh, multi-force attachment. So how cool is that? Um, it's one other question I have for you guys really quick. And I'll probably wrap it up with this is, do you guys leave your boards on the inside or the outside? It's funny, I told Rob, uh, you know, no matter what I do, somebody's gonna have a, a comment. Put the boards on the inside, put the boards on the outside. Like one way it looks cleaner, the other way uh, it's more rigid for the inside versus the outside. I, I, so it's like always like this, this fun conversation. Any which way, I think this will be good for us. This will be great for our setup and uh, help us move a little bit more mulch. Again, if we have to put the uh, leaf box on, we will, uh, but I don't think we'll have to this year. And so either which way, we'll be good to go. But guys, this is the uh, you know dump insert. This is how to add walls to the side. Hope you guys appreciate this a little uh, how-to, a little tutorial. And this is just uh, what we got going on this morning. And hopefully we'll be doing leaf cleanups the rest of the week. So all right, guys, no matter what you guys got going on today, hope you guys are having a good one. And we look forward to catching up with you on the next one.